Now developing news on the peninsula, an exciting announcement from Newport News Shipbuilding tonight. Two new aircraft carriers soon in the works. Ted on your side's Brett Hall joins us from the shipyard tonight. And Brett, this means big things for the industry and Hampton Roads too. Absolutely it does. What it really signifies is that moving far into the future, there will be men and women building ships here. They actually believe until the year 2032. The president of Newport News Shipbuilding says we should be thrilled. What a great day this is for Newport News Shipbuilding and for Hampton Roads. That's because the Navy awarded a nearly $15 billion contract at the shipyard to finish designing and building aircraft carriers 80 and 81. Jennifer Boykin cites many positives in taking on two projects of this size. One, no risks of layoffs for the foreseeable future. The ships will be delivered four years apart. What would have happened if we had five-year centers is there would have been a, a, some valley between CVN-80 and CVN-81. Uh, that would have led to either an attrition down of that workforce and rehiring. Now, once workers finish on the 79, the USS John F. Kennedy, they will keep on cruising. Boykin says learning how to build every Ford-class carrier better than the one before. The lessons we learned on 78 roll into 79 and they'll roll into 80 and 81 which the Navy estimates leads to a $4 billion saving for the taxpayer. The planning organization really only has to plan once for both ships, and the engineering organization has to provide the engineering document once for both ships. While the 81 hasn't been named yet, the 80 will be the ninth Navy ship to take the name Enterprise. Taking the title from the decommissioned carrier 65, also currently in Newport News, awaiting to be scrapped. It is a, a tremendous pride for the shipbuilders to know that the Navy recognizes uh, the talent that we bring and that this is uh, a powerful class of ships that's centerpiece to the Navy's needs. And the first of its class is right back there, the Ford 79, uh, 78, excuse me. And while this is going to be very exciting, they also say a big challenge is going to be make sure they have enough workforce to do all this work again until 2020, 2032. Reporting live in Newport News, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. All right, Brett, thank you. Our local representatives are responding to this tonight. Representatives Donald McKeachin, Bobby Scott, Rob Whitman, and Elaine Loria all issued a statement saying in part, quote, the dual buy finalized by the Navy today will save taxpayers money and bring stability and certainty to our shipbuilding industrial base. This will secure thousands of jobs for Virginians.